chances are the engine in this Yamaha is bigger than the engine in your car. Cue the intro. What's up guys, I'm Sean from SRK Cycles with my newest friend, 2015 Yamaha Star Raider. This is rocking a ginormous 1900cc motor. The 1900cc motor in this motorcycle, which is almost a two liter, let's look at it. humongous jugs, giant jugs. This thing's pushed out about, about 85 horsepower and about 110 foot-pounds of torque. That's a lot of torque. The gas tank is about a four, 4.1 gallon fuel tank. And this thing's supposed to be able to do like around 35, close to 40 miles per gallon on a trip. So you're looking at about 100, 150 miles before you gotta stop. Now over here, one of the biggest things you'll notice about this bike is the 39 degree rake. And it's got that chopper-esque feel to it. But it's not quite a chopper, it's not, you know, seven feet long. And when you sit on it, everything just kind of fits into place. I'm 6'2", I fit great on this bike, but it also has a very low seat height. So for shorter people that can reach the pegs and can reach this, it's also going to feel pretty comfortable because when you put your feet down, you'll probably be able to plant both feet on the ground. So 1900 cc's, if you're wondering, what does that compare to the other stuff? What does that compare to the, like the Harley Davidson? Well, when this bike came out, I think somewhere around 2007, Harley's biggest motor was a 110 cubic inch motor, and that's what they were putting in the CVO bikes. And that's what I have in my 2008 CVO Road, uh, Road King. This is a 113, and this just came standard in this motorcycle. So to give you some idea, this is a big, big engine. And this thing's actually weighing in at 730 pounds. So it's not a light bike, but when you're, when you're cruising around, it, it, it feels perfect. And the way the center of gravity is, it doesn't feel super heavy taking it off the kickstand. Another thing you notice right away is it's a fairly large two, 210 rear tire. Now it's not so big that it doesn't handle well, and you you know, it feels really top heavy, but it's got enough, it's got enough uh, traction that you can actually get, you know, from a dig, you can actually pull pretty hard. So this thing has a mono shock underneath the seat, it's hidden, it's belt driven, air cooled with a giant V-twin motor. That's the exact same formula that Harley Davidson has been using to sell millions of motorcycles. Let's, uh, let's take this thing for a spin and see how, uh, see how Yamaha does it. Alright guys, before the test drive, let's do the words of wisdom. We did that one yesterday. Luke 636, be merciful just as your father is merciful. Awesome. Alright guys, let's take this beast and put my gloves on. My Kevlar lined M1 Moto gloves. I've really kind of acquired the taste of these bikes. I'm not sure if I like them as much as I do now. Now notice how slowly it cranks over. It's not that the battery's dead, that's just how they are. And the first couple of onesies I had, I was like, man, the battery's dead on this one too. And then I'd put a new battery in it, or I would charge it up. And that's it's just kind of like the, the, the big twin Ducatis do the same thing. They just crank over slowly. I don't know why that is. Nineteen hundred CCs. Let's see what that feels like. And guys, hang around to the end, where I'm going to jump on the uh, when I jump on the freeway, the highway, the interstate. I'm going to run a zero to sixty because it's legal. And we're gonna see what this thing runs in the zero to 60. If you guys wanna guess what you think it might run, let me know. I think I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna have a hard time keeping traction. Cause this thing's a big bad mudder. M-U-D-D-E-R. And, um, but I think I'm gonna be able to get sub four seconds. Cause this thing's fast. I think even with me losing traction, by the time I like shift into a second gear or as some of us call hyper speed, I think I'll be able to get sub sub four seconds. I'm like getting like three eight, three nine. That's what I'm hoping. 
Now this is a big bike. It's a fairly heavy bike, although of course when you're riding it, it doesn't feel heavy at all. And the way this, the way you sit in it, is is very unique. It, it's it's kind of it's very similar to what like what you would feel when you're sitting in a um like a Harley Davidson uh, like a soft tail custom. It's kind of it's kind of that way where the tank is not the tank is not flat. The tank is sitting up. The bars are not very high. But they're not, you know, you don't feel like they're drag bars. And you kind of have this little bit of a chopper-esque, you know, kind of feel and look to it. But by no means is it a chopper because it actually, you know, runs good and, and handles and performs well. The shifting on this big, giant bike, unlike, you know, some of the, uh, like the M109, nothing clunky about it at all. I mean, you pop this thing in the gear, it's smooth, it's precise, it's easy. Um, the clutch is extremely light, which still makes me wonder why I've ridden Sportsters with race clutches that are putting out like a quarter of the horsepower, but no joke, you need three hands. You need three hands and a buddy just to grab the clutch and to pull it in because it's so hard. I mean, it feels like there's a brick in between on some of these on some of these bikes with sport with brake clutches on it. And then you got this thing, you know, it's a uh, it's of course a hydraulic clutch and it's effortless. I mean, you can easily I'm doing this with one finger and it's easy. Brakes feel good. Let's fix that fix that there's someone watching the video and that thing was off and that's driving them nuts they're all like they're all getting all fidgety they're making sure the papers on their desk is all perfect and straight now this bike has 30 keys 30 different keys on it and you notice my my this bike uh this bike has pegs now a lot of times you get into the bigger getting these bigger engines and they almost always put floorboards on them that's kind of their thing. It's like, oh, let's all put floorboards on these bikes. But something like this has pegs on it. And it's going to give you that little extra ground clearance if you get a little bit low when you're taking your turns. Beautiful bike. I think it's a 20, this is a 2015. They've been making this bike for a while. So the best thing about this bike. All right, let's talk about all the good qualities. I think they look awesome. It's big. It's mean looking, it's unique looking, but that, that the 19cc bike, the 19cc Yamaha engine is an awesome motor and it's got a great, it's got a great deep sound to it. But when push comes to shove, this thing's pushing and shoving. This thing's doing everything and this thing's got some power and we're gonna show you right now. Now listen, this is my first time doing this on this bike so don't be all like man you suck Sean because I know I'm aware I was there there that was pretty good that was no spin uh fairly fairly um fairly tame start but I kept the tires on the ground the whole time you know anytime you spin you're you're not putting power to the ground so you don't want to spin and this thing just has just power for days if you wanted to you could destroy that speed limit I mean I was in second gear when I, you know, when I went, when I was going way past, I think I was in second gear, I don't know what gear is it. Easy bike to ride. Now the other two configurations, so Yamaha, like most smart companies do, you don't make a different motor for every single vehicle that you have. And they're actually doing more of this where they're using the same engine and they're putting in different configurations. Like the Bolt. 
that they took out of the um, the V Star 950 and a bunch of other cool stuff like that. So they put this in two other bikes, and I also love those other bikes. The other bike is the um, the Stratoliner and the Roadliner. If you've not seen the videos or pictures of these bikes, they are out of this world. They're so cool. They look like 1930s cars. They got these cool like fins on the side. They're really, really cool looking bikes. If I had to put, if I'm putting bikes in my, in my like perfect, like Sean's garage of motorcycles that I get to jump in and I get all excited about, it's going to be one of these three bikes. I need at least two 1900 Yamahas. Um, this and probably uh, probably the Roadliner. So this is a uh, it's a pretty comfortable bike, and it runs awesome. It's got 1900 miles on it. That's kind of what you would expect. I've seen these things with 60, 70, you know, 80,000 miles. Uh, people swear by these motors. They they are durable. They um, they're simple. Not much going on in there and they last for a long time. All right guys, that wraps up the test drive. We will see you guys next time. Do not forget, check out uh, srkcycles.com. This bike is for sale right now. Um, srkcycles.com, we have a lot of other stuff. If you guys are interested in these gloves I got, I got rocking on right now, um, click on the link below. These are M1 Moto gloves and these are, I mean, there's two different styles, but this one is lined with, this whole, this whole palm is lined with Kevlar. And we tested these and they are crazy, crazy durable. Um, it's the only gloves I wear. All right, guys, remember, it's not what you're riding, but where are you going?